You know, I've, I haven't actually even seen the predator that kills my stock. Mostly babies, mostly the young. Now, I'm just in the area to try and find out a little bit more information about the predators of the garden roots and I believe you're the man to talk to. Um, well, predators, we, we do have those. More than a hundred uh, impala. For farmers and predators to coexist, uh, there's quite a few options available and it's really coming down to managing livestock rather than predators. Um, anything on, on the leopards in the area? I'm actually in the area and looking for them, so... <laughs> um, well, the best people to get hold of is the Landmark Foundation. The research that we're doing is determining how many leopards are present in the Eastern and Western Cape, where habitat exists, and how isolated potential populations um, are to one another. Um, this one was taken at 6 in the afternoon yeah. um, and it was actually heading towards the area with the fallow deer and the impala. Okay. This one was taken at 3 in the afternoon oh, three days okay. later and it was heading in the other direction. Uh, the use of camera traps in order to count and survey how many leopards might be within a, a specific area. And uh, we do have a camera trap out there so hopefully we'll get some luck with these leopards. It's really hard to conserve predators when you can't see them. 